without Ranger. You know, because he ain't here right now. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna make a basic engine. It's gonna be very easy, very simple. So for first, we should probably put it on symmetry mode, which I forget to do most of the time, which I will not now. Oop. Okay. So I'm doing this because as the game gets more and more updates, the more and more people are playing. I mean, you should probably know how to play the game. Alright, so first you put an engine down. Okay. For the controls for the engine, I'm going to make a little plate. I'm going to turn off that. I'm going to make like a little dashboard. Put like this. Like a little table. A little work table. Alright, so then I'm going to put some buttons on it. Boop. Oop. So, whoops. Okay. So you go in here. Get a get a throttle lever. Get it to, to, to. So this is for throttle. That's for starter. And then we can get some dials if you wanted. Right there, right here. Okay. You can put these down. So RPM, temp, and something else. So for this, I'm going to use um, the basic, if I can ever find it, okay there, the basic medium engine, you slap that bad boy on right there, maybe not, you can press control Z, and that would make it much faster to get rid of things, alright, so you're like, me, 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 I don't know what to do, I don't know where to put things, maybe get a pipe, Hover over it, it'll tell you what things are. So exhaust, exhaust, fuel, in coolant, out coolant, and then over here, power. And don't forget this thing here. It's air. Alright. So, in and out coolant. Later, I'll show you a good way to do it, but right now we're just, like, there's pumps, so you can pump in water and pump out hot water. But, right now, I'll, uh... I'll use a heater. It's in fluid. And you just... I mean, it depends what your vehicle looks like. But you could just have it. And just slap it down. Oop. I don't think that's right. Yeah. Slap it down. And you can just put... This right here. No. God. This right there. And that's good to work. Okay, exhaust is exactly what you think it is. You could do this and burn them together. Since this is a basic engine, like, it doesn't need too much exhaust. So then you could, you could use this, you could use this, you could use this, and this. So anything that's really like, but that's like more for a more rustic exhaust look. Okay, this is fuel. We'll take that out here. All right. So right. So you see this fu fluid spawner. There's a okay. There's a fluid spawner. If you go up more, there's a thing that looks exactly like it. But that's a fluid meter. We need the spawner. Then we can go up. Get blocks. And then it may it basically you can make a custom fuel. We'll make it over here. You can make this any size, uh, like to conform to your ship, so it doesn't look weird. So you get the basic thing, and then you can just slap that on. Slap this on. And then you can go in. Oh god, which is top. Oh. Go in, delete a block, and then put. This in and it, oh, make sure it usually it goes up on diesel, but you could change it to jet fuel, uh, and then you could use it to water. That's useful to know, All right? 
soon we can line this up. Oop. Yo, engines have a... Oops. Engines have a custom... They are. They already have suction. They can already, like, suck the fuel. Oops. But... Okay. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. For this, you'd use this, and then this. And they're basically just enclosed pipes. So you just do that. Pipe straight. Yeah. Ooh. Yikes. Put this here. Get an angle. Put that there. Alright. So, what I was saying. So, the, the engines already have a custom suck in. But you could, but if it's not good enough, you could use a pump to pump it in. But for this, it's good enough. So you could either use um, intake, this one, this, or this. Uh, we could just use this, because, you know, whatever. So it'll suck the fuel in. Alright. I'll also show you how to use the fluid meter, since we're already here. So it's in sensors, and it's this one that looks like the fuel spawner. So we do this, boop boop, okay. Alright, so over here, for this, you could pipe out, but you could also just slap one on. Okay, yeah. So, and then this is the power, so that's the stuff going out. So you go out into anything. So, well, not anything, anything. Anything that uses power is like wheels. But for this, I'll use a... I'll use a this. Or you, you could use this, a large propeller. You could use the propellers. But I'll use this for now. So you just put that on. Okay, and then for this. Okay, for power, we'll go that over there. And don't forget power, because, you know... That's not good. So you can slap things on. This works like this. But if it's like a separate object. It, like a separate object off of this. As as if you put something like. Here's the piston. If you put something on it. It makes it a separate object. So for that. You would have to. Like if there are multiple things on here. Hold on. I'll see because it's important. If there are multiple power things on here, y you can't. If you do this, you have to hook it up to something that has power on it for it to work. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, for data. Okay, this is fuel meter, so we'll put that on there. You can get temperature and rotations per second. Okay, for throttle, we can put that in throttle. Hug button is a starter. Okay, let's name it. So, this is fuel. <sighs> fuel. Okay, temp. Uh, uh rotation per second. This is starter. You could default stay on. That means when you load the creation, it'll automatically be on, which you really don't want. Alright. You can also hook up a dial to this and see what how much charge you have. Just in case. Alright, so this is the basic setup. You could use it in a ship, which I'll show you after this. I'll show you it in a ship and what it looks like. So, uh, we save this, um, test engine. Alright, so make sure you save it, and let's spawn it in. Alright, so it might do wonky stuff since it's just a flat platform. Let's make it darker so the whiteness isn't blinding us. Alright, so here you see fuel, we have plenty of fuel, temp 15, so it's actually, it's, it's settling temp, 
And then RPS zero because it's not doing anything right now. All right, so let's go start it up. So first throttle. Yeah, sometimes they don't work if you immediately throttle all the way up. So start at a low. All right. So if you see exhaust, that's a good sign. All right. So the RPS going up. So let's throw a little more. One hundred percent. Now that RPS is gonna stay at twenty. That's just a medium engine and a small propeller, and there's no anything using on it. Alright, so when you're testing, make sure you don't run into the propeller because it will insta kill you, and that's not good. So this is that 8 basic engine setup. And, okay, I'll show you on a boat. So let's get our ship. Load. Oh, look at all these creations. Alright, so it's this one. Um, it's a little different. It the only thing different is it has large engines. So they uh are basically the same, but they need more. See, so it's this setup. They have generators. So then I generate energy while the engine is on. Now you have to do is get. So that's the power. And then you put it in the generator, but you can also go back and put it in a, in a propeller. Alright, so this is a cooling. One goes in the cooling in, and one goes in the cooling out. And as you can see, these are orientated differently. So one is pulling in, and one is pushing out. And then, boom. Okay, yeah. And then this is an auto stabilizer. It just goes back and forth. So this is the setup. I'm a spun an analyst. Um, watch the engine work. All right, so let's hop in. Oh, good God! Okay, the boat's not finished. I'm still in the process of making it, so not everything's done. We can go up and then up. Oh, that's not the car spun. See, there's a heli pad up there. Ooh. All right. So yeah, I put this uh, like it's not finished, but I still put this on the workshop, so you could finish it yourself. And like it's the basic setup, you could like destroy the hole or something, like not the hole, like the bridge, and then like change it or whatever. And this is the dock or the front. Okay, let's hop in. Uh, okay, home lights, and then start help. And then it goes ding, and it goes ding, and it, it pops up everything, and everything gets started. So these, uh, if you make these, these are port side and uh, starboard side. So port side's left, starboard side's right. And so instead of it looking at port, like, uh, port side forward, it actually looks at port side. Because if you could see, the camera is tilted at an angle. It's like that on the starboard side also. I don't remember. I think that's the outside lights. Yep, those are blinding in the day. Let's turn those off. Alright, so we have left engine temp. That's because I have... Oh, yeah, left engine. Never mind, I thought I had more engines. Because I have a different build that has more engines. Alright. So, let's start her up. So... E button let's go all right so temp rps battery recharging so with recharging i basically okay i basically have like pretty decent fuel like battery like i'll pretty much never run out all right okay so this looks like it's underwater but as you can tell this is not in water but the camera's right there uh at the stabilizer so it just looks like it's underwater it's really not also when you're driving a boat you hear that sound i don't know if you can but that means turn this off it's like a <laughs> and that means your boat so that doesn't harm your boat but it'll make it to where if you hop off the boat if it, even if you turn off the engine if you're going to look at something and hop off the boat the boat's still gonna go so it's just gonna leave you Back here, we have this and this. So it's for towing boats. 
but if it just went down the top thing will just kind of look at the bottom which isn't good so i have both of them on hinges so then it looks forward so a neat little trick so these are the stacks you have you it should, you should have stacks for your engine so the exhaust doesn't go underwater because if it does your engine will stop working and that's not good these pretty much have nothing in them and then up here i have med bay like starter and then i have the equipment bedrooms and then i have an anchor room which is magals which are just basically just magnets that will stick to the bottom of the ground like a seabed and then it'll pretty much keep us still these are dials they're going to be hooked up to the engine so when you're down here you could also see how the engine's doing then these rooms are empty and then as you can tell i'm not finished with the boat and like it yeah, as you can tell all right so let's walk up so the main of this is looking at the engine and seeing how it works. So the stacks go up in a long pipe going all the way down to the engine. And even goes through the fuel. Yeah, so you have to encase that so your fuel doesn't seep in. If you look on the bottom. Uh-oh. I think that's just a oh it's just because it's just very nope uh yeah what is that okay i i hooked up the poggle okay this is not this is no boy no so if you have like this pumps you should never put on the engine because it will if it'll make an annoying noise every time you try to put the pumps off but with but with this it the temps don't go to exploding so it's still good but like it would explode if it is in a storm i get too bad of a storm all right another thing to know about engines is if you go to the map you're like oh it doesn't show you anything so let's go to creative unlock all map reveal the map just like, it doesn't show anything. So up here it would be cold, right here it would be normal, down here it would be hot. So you can see the temperature, but if you go in the hot section, your engine could overheat and, you know, stop working. It, it doesn't do anything in the cold, it just makes the character cold, so you just have to heat up the character. There's the rain. I, on creative, I have it on this, on zero, so it's not really gonna do anything. But when it's not, these will actually be rain pockets. The fog is... It's very foggy over here. I'm not really foggy where we are. And then the wind, it would be very bad wind. Well, not very bad. It'd be... Eh. Pretty hefty wind, but not hefty enough. So this is... It's the engine tutorial. Um, also, I'll show you my boat, which you can get off on... The, uh, uh, you can, you can, like, if you, if you go to the steam, you can get it and change it if you want. All these are lights, because I didn't paint them, because I'm still in the progress. Alright, but, that's my boat, and hope you learned something new. See ya.